I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States the office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve protect and defend preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the United States so help me God so help me God Congratulations, Mr. President. Yeah. Donald Trump becomes the 45th President of the United States. The nation he takes over is deeply divided, something he seems to realize. A new national pride will stir our souls, lift our sights, and heal our divisions. It's time to remember that old wisdom our soldiers will never forget that whether we are black or brown or white, we all bleed the same red blood of patriots. He had a message, too, for the rest of the world. We will seek friendship and goodwill with the nations of the world, but we do so with the understanding that it is the right of all nations to put their own interests first. We do not seek to impose our way of life on anyone, but rather to let it shine as an example. We will shine for everyone to follow. On the National Mall, hundreds of thousands of people to cheer or simply to witness a historic moment. Next is an executive order minimizing Fresh in the new job, the Trump was sitting behind the presidential Act resolute desk in the Oval Office. He signed his first executive order on Obamacare. The aim? To minimize the economic burden of his predecessor's signature health care law. He also signed formal nominations for members of the new administration. A new administration, a new direction, and a new America, leaving some hopeful, others fearful.